Well, if you live in the upstate, when you think of Woodruff Road, you probably think of traffic. Yeah, it certainly comes to mind, but there's a project in the works to help alleviate the extreme congestion. And before it starts, the SCDOT wants your feedback. Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs is live on Woodruff Road, breaking down the project for us and filling you in on how you can get involved. Yeah, that's right. We've been talking to locals all morning about their feedback on Woodruff Road. Many of them say they want to see more street signs. They want to see more turning lanes. They want to see just overall less congestion. A lot of people try to avoid these roads, especially during rush hour and lunchtime because of all the shops around here. Everyone is just driving down this road. Now that's this new plan that leaders are in the works are. They've been in the works of trying to fix Woodruff Road for quite some time and we've been following along with this. It's allowing locals like you to put your feedback in to make some improvements. Now we took a look at this brand new project and learned it's a $1.5 million road improvement plan from Butler Bagwell Road near Malton all the way to Roper Mountain Road in Verde Boulevard. Now that's a big stretch of road and usually the busiest as well. And we wanted to learn more about what would be included in the new road plan. The SCDOT says the project will likely include crosswalks, blind spot reduction, a raised median, and new turning lanes to reduce those stoplight backups. We wanted to find out what other people think about the new plan. So this morning, we talked to a man who says he has some suggestions for the roadway. Well, I think that one of the things that I, it's, it's stopping to have so many stoplights and using roundabout, it would be a good idea. So the traffic would be more fluid, that is a start stop all the time. And it's your opinion is exactly what the SCDOT wants. You can go to the website we have listed on your screen, scroll over to comments or questions, and give them your thoughts on what else they can improve. And if you didn't catch all of this, of course, we have it on our Fox Carolina News app. But go in and put your input in now because the last day will be April 29th. And they also are planning to have an in-person meeting to learn more about the plans for Woodruff Road. That day will be on April 13th at the Embassy Suites Conference Center in downtown Greenville. Of course, you can submit your feedback. I know I'm going to, and we'll keep you updated on this development throughout the day. Back to you.